All right, here's another example as well. Um, we are still going to follow the same rules. Uh, again, uh, the plot is not drawn to to scale. Uh, this is not a log scale at all, but um, it's close enough, if you will. So, somewhere here, a thousand. And we can keep going and, and going. So, the first, if you notice this function here, we don't really have to divide and get all ones here because we already have the uh, one plus zero point one s one plus here one plus here. So we don't really have to worry about anything else. So k here is hundred. So we can go ahead and calculate our twenty log k. Twenty log. 100. This is 20 log 100. That's a 40 dB. So we know that because we don't have a pole, we don't have an S here, we don't have an S here, we know that our plot will start at 40 dB because that's the current, that's the constant gain. Okay? Next thing is to find the poles and the zeros. So our poles would be at the bottom, these ones at the bottoms, and the uh, zeros would be for the function at the, uh, the numerator. So we have poles bottom. So we have two poles here, two polynomials one over whatever we have in front of the uh, s. If we were to divide here, it would be one over one over that. Just like the previous examples, we here we have 0 0.01, so we're not doing one, we are doing one over 0 0.1. So, and then we have another pole that's, that's 100, but let's make sure. It's never too elementary. Hundred and we have another one also at um, one. So another pole at one. So we have two poles, one um, at one and one at hundred. Zeros. Zeros are at the uh, numerator. So we have one over point one, and this is obviously a ten. So we have two poles and one zero. We can circle circle them out. We have, uh, what do you call it? We have a pole here and a pole here. These are our corner frequencies. And we have a zero. Let me use a different color for the zeros, I guess. Hmm, not that one, I don't like that. Uh, let me use green. Okay. A different shape, I guess. So zeros are green, and then yellow is a poles. Okay. All right. So we can start drawing. Again, our constant gain is a 40 dB. We don't have a source. We don't not source. We don't have a um, pole or zero at the origin. So the pole will start at 40 the plot will start at 40 dB until we hit the next cont the next corner frequency. So 40 dB is right here somewhere here until we hit let me use a different color. Let me use purple. Until we hit so 40 until we hit the first corner frequency at 1. What do we have at 1? At 1 we have a pole what did we say about poles? We add minus 20 dB to the previous one. The previous one here is a 0 dB. The slope, we're talking about slopes. Not this, but the actual slope. This is a 0 slope, so minus 20 dB is going to be a 0 slope until we hit the next corner frequency at 10. At, at 10. So we want to make sure we have the slope 
that so we can't go all the way because then it wouldn't be a minus 20 dB so this is supposed to be a t minus 20 dB okay uh, this is not well drawn I guess because I'm supposed to be a hmm. I guess that's let me let me redraw it it's not drawn to scale that's why it's, I'm having a hard time drawing it but you get the point I'm supposed to draw a I'm supposed to draw a minus 20 dB until I hit the next corner frequency right here right it's kind of hard to do that when you don't have actual scale but this is supposed to be a minus 20 okay until we hit the um, corner frequency at 10 this is you know what I'll cheat <laughs> I'm gonna cheat I'm gonna bring the 10 up front to, so you can see it's like, apparently I can draw that yeah. so I'm gonna act like this is a 10 but in the um, in the exam obviously you won't have that issue because you're dealing with a scaled log so I cheated there a little bit but you get the point because I'm trying to get uh, you know a 20 dB slope here so I can't go beyond whatever all right so I'm at 10 uh, 10 is a zero what do we have what do we say about the zeros zero is plus 20 dB until we hit the next uh, corner frequency so you're not gonna go up because why because you have you're supposed to add the previous slope so if we have a 10 we have a 0 positive slope 20 dB 20 dB minus 20 dB is a 0 dB so I'm supposed to have a 0 slope until I hit the next corner frequency at 100 So this is 20 dB minus 20 dB, the previous slope. Okay. So now I'm at 100. What 100? 100 is a pole. A pole is a negative slope. This is zero. A pole. A pole is a negative slope minus 20 dB. So minus 20 dB plus the previous slope which was zero so I'm supposed to have a negative I'm supposed to have a negative a negative um, slope minus 20 so I start drawing that at 100 now now here is the thing where are you supposed to hit the origin here I'm not worried about it because I'm just trying to show you the way to do it but in the exam they might ask you what is this what is this gain cross gain um, frequency, corner frequency or whatever they want to call it. I think they call it uh, corner gain or gain corner, not, not corner, um, cross gain W, I guess cross gain, uh, cross gain, what do they call it, cross gain something, frequency, right? Yeah, cross gain frequency here. At one point, at one, what, because we don't have any more corner frequency so at one point at what point does this hit the uh, the frequency here so in order for you to find that you would just do uh, you would consider this line over here it started at 100 so you solve this equation right here log of whatever you're trying to find you know co um, let's say this is called the cross gain CG or GC or whatever over 100 this is equal to 20 and you solve for for for, uh, for the cross gain whatever this is that's where it actually hits the uh, the the, uh, the frequencies um, the frequency line or whatever they might ask you that but I don't know but typically you just want to see the form you know how 
where it's supposed to go up and down and whatever. So this is supposed to be a minus 20 dB. So, and that's it. You see how this is intuitive, like, it's not bad. But, you know, you just have to follow the rules and yes. But if you follow these rules over here, straight up, low key, you would really, really like solve any body block problem. Alright. Thanks.